All right. It's. It, whoop! Hang on. Ah. Okay. There. Back on track. Oh man, it is so late for me. Um, but I figure we can do some quick little action. Um. So, in relevant news, uh, Cody actually just finished up his playthrough of Silver, so I have to play uh, catch-up, well, I'm lagging mine, but that's really my own fault because I really let this whole year kind of slip away from me. Um, well, who do we want to take on this old gym with? Um, this could be a fun time for Blooper to have some action. So, yeah, this gimmick is still the same from, uh, the floor plan gimmick is still the same from the Gen 1 when Koga had with the pseudo invisible walls. But now instead of just random trainers there, they're all disguised. Oh, cool. This actually works out even better for old blooper. Part ground type. Yeah, so, as I said, Cody finished up his run, so if you haven't uh, checked it out, definitely want to check it out. Really awesome uh, conclusion. And hopefully we can follow in finishing up the game not too long from now ourselves. I was actually going to plan on recording maybe more than one segment today, but oh, I decided to break down and finally get Destiny. Albeit in the somewhat stripped down, well, I mean stripped down, but maybe a inferior Xbox 360 version because I'm too uh, cheap to upgrade to a new gen console right now. But, uh, so I decided to play a little bit of that instead tonight. And, uh, pretty fun. But, well, I figured we, uh, we can knock out a gym and I think least take care of the uh, the stupid um, uh, what should we call the Snorlax that's hiding out. Oh wow! I didn't even. I was say I didn't think that was Genie. I thought she was somewhere else. I'm like, I forgot that the yeah, there's that one person. It's too late for me to be thinking. I'm actually tricked by these people. How sad is that? But yeah, Genie, um, obviously. Is supposed to be Koga's daughter, and um, as such, she's actually the weakest of all of the Kanto gym leaders. So, her Pokemon are actually lower level than any of the other guys that you meet. It's a little bit unfortunate in that regard because we're already kind of walking over everyone, but oh well, we'll make do with what we got. So, see how. Uh, much fun we can have with our water type here. And luckily with part poison, we're not worried about getting poisoned ourselves. Great, it's always good. Um, oh wait, I didn't want to do that. I'm not even paying attention. It is so late. <laughs> Why did I do surf on a gloom? Oh, nuts. You know what? I deserve that. Thank you so much. No, I'm not going to be asleep. Ugh. We'll heal. I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb. Wow. No, not pack. Uh I'm gonna say please let it miss or something. That'll be the ultimate conclusion to that stupidity. See anyway, as I as we said before, we're only got a few gym leaders left, really. Um, okay, I think that's actually Janine there. I don't, because yeah, Koga was over here, so I think you're meant to think that uh, she's over here, so. Well, if I'm wrong, then I missed a gym. Uh, then I missed one of the challengers. Okay. Good, I wasn't wrong. Should sure remember from watching Cody's run through this, but I obviously wasn't paying close enough attention. Okay, you got. Do you have the uh, Bulbasaur line up? Is that uh, is that what you got there? Let's see, outcome Ivysaur maybe. Eh, 
middling experience. And of course, anyone that, if you have watched Cody's run through, or you know it's coming at the end, you know, okay, we're all at level 50 and whatnot, but, oh yeah, we got a whole lot way, a whole, a whole longer way to go before we're ready to finish off the game. Not in terms of story and stuff, but there's going to be a lot of off-screen grinding I'm going to have to do before the final segment. So, ugh, not enough to kill you. Thank you. We'll just finish you off! Then it's like, that'll be a lot of fun. Because I hate grinding so much. As I probably said before, it's the reason why I don't play more RPG games. Yes, this is ironic because I'm because I just decided to grab Destiny, which has RPG style leveling and all that. Maybe I'm getting soft. Crobat. He has like level 36 Pokemon. So Actually, this gym might be slightly weaker than it is in Gen 1 over, overall. I'm actually surprised that I still kind of... Well, no, Tentacruel has good speed. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised. Alright. But yeah, Crobat, because Crobat's a speed beast. Level up! Okay, what what do you want to use next? Venomoth. Oh, I can live with Venomoth. I can live with letting Levi out for some fun. Yeah, Venomoth's actually Venomoth's a pretty cool Pokemon I should use more often. Oh wow, you were really close leveling up too. Forgot about that. Well, let Venomoth be your ticket to level 51. Wee. All right, that's not bad. Next, wheezing. Uh, Dexter. Sure, why not? Okay. Well, let's see. Psychic for obvious reasons. Uh. It's even easier than it used to be. Okay, Ariados. No sweat. Fire punch for days. And yeah, not a whole lot else to not a whole lot else to talk about with this. Like I said, just wrapping up another gym leader. Hmm. Although, unlike Cody, I'm pretty much sure that I'm not going to bother going after the other legendaries. If you're really interested in seeing them, check out his videos. I don't have the patience. God knows how he does. Uh, I don't need the other ones because I'm, I'm not going to use them anyway. But yeah, hunting down the hunting down the legendary beasts in this game is oh my god yeah, it's just so broken because first you kind of have to just randomly encounter them I mean you can twist things in your favor by using repels on weaker routes I guess but even then I, I don't know I'm pretty unlucky with those encounters and then then there's the actual fighting them because one, they can basically escape at will. I'm pretty sure that they're even able to run away from battle when they're asleep. Which doesn't make sense to me, but... Uh, uh, no, we want to go to Vermilion. But, yeah, I don't... I don't really understand that at all. Okay, actually, Bicycle. And then, of course, if they roar you, uh, well, yeah. Then they're never encounterable ever again, because that makes a lot of sense. Okay, I'm pretty sure I may remember to grab that 
dumb thing from the Poke flute. There we are. I guess we can try to catch him. We'll see how successful we are. Oh wait, I didn't switch out. Uh... Yeah, this should be amusing. I think it has like snore. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, have fun with that. Now we can try to whittle it down. Oh, joy. Yeah, if we can't catch him, I mean, I could, like, do save state abuse to catch him or whatever. I'm not really super worried about it. Uh, let's see if another... Oh, of course, that's right, he has leftovers. It's like, I could have had someone with beef or something to grab the leftovers like Cody did, but I don't know. Wow. Okay, never mind. We're not catching uh, Snorlax. Um. Well, shit. <laughs> that was a little anticlimactic, but you'll. Yep, always get those. Wow, I didn't think you could actually encounter them in the first room. Friggin' Diglett. I don't even remember them being that low leveled in uh, Gen 1. Do I have any more repels or something? Because this is stupid. No. No. Oh well. Super encounter rate for the win. Go away. Okay, that's more like it level wise. Not even worth the time it takes to kill you. Uh, jeez, the Stiglet gave. Remember, it has a really poor encounter rate in the well, not poor, but in terms of low, but just annoying encounter rate in Gen One too. Although in Gen One, it's different because you're much lower leveled at that point, so you know. If you would actually encounter a Doug Trio because it's fairly unlikely that you'll be that high level, and the Doug Trio are always, I think, around 29 or something, 28, 29. So they can run into you, and you have don't have a good team member to deal with them, you could be screwed. I mean, they. Don't, I mean, their defense is kind of poor, but they're fast and they hit like a bitch. All right, let's get out of here. Um. Well. So, yeah. Now at least we're at the latter stages here. We can. Okay, we'll fight you. Because yeah, they kind of moved like bug trainers out of there because the Verdian Forest got. Removed. It would have been nice for them to have it, but I guess the memory limitations just uh, were too much to deal with it in the end. Not the end of the world, but... I guess, I mean, they probably could have recycled some stuff a bit to make it, but I don't know. So now it's just kind of a mini maze that just it's not even a separate location. It's a little bit unfortunate, but I guess that was the the uh the trade off they were gonna make. Well we're gonna include Kanto, but these this is an old Game Boy cart, so we don't really have room to do anything else except you know, look we can get the general layout, but we have to cut out a lot of buildings and some of the buildings we do use are just recycled textures from uh, the Johto area. Like they had the radio tower first floor. I think they probably could have just recycled the entire radio tower, to be honest, and made it so you could actually walk around up there. But I'm not an expert video game programmer, so. Man, three B drill. You know, there are other bug types available. 
Okay, so yeah, we'll uh, finish you off with another sludge bomb. And we'll go up to Pewter City. Um, I think we can actually just take out Brock because he still only has the one uh, junior trainer. I thought the uh, the Snorlax battle would take a little bit more time, but obviously I was mistaken. Uh, okay, we don't need to worry about that. Like I said, there's only one other junior trainer in here. Yeah. You still talking about this? What trainers? It's you and Brock. Oh, God. Sand Slash. So I guess he's, this guy's still the same, uh... Same person that was... The same person that was, like, junior trainering way back then when he has... Uh, he had a Sand Shrew and a Diglett. I guess he, uh, didn't bother with the trio. Be and you don't use Rock-type either, because Sand Slash is just a Ground-type. You're just full of it, kid. Jerry. Alright, we'll just, you know, we'll finish off Brock. Yeah, this won't be too bad, I think. Not sure what this is going to be. Graveler first, that's right. And um, 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 pedal dance. We're probably gonna have to eat a confusion, but that's okay. I don't. I don't well, I don't know. Depending on what experience, maybe we'll switch out before we get there. Yeah, I think we'll be a switch out. Whoever he sends out next should get me up to that level. We'll be fine. Rock and water types. Brock obviously started digging for fossils. Down you go. Okay, level 51 for Meryl. Join the club. Who's gonna be next? I'm a star. Um, uh, uh, sure, why not? Fighting type against the rock. I like that. Let's see how badly we can fail with like cross chop. Come on now. Boosted experience. Watch that bar fly. Rockhorn. Yeah, cross chop's a pretty cool move. It doesn't have perfect accuracy, but it gets that job done. Uh, one more Onyx. Well, you're not going to give me enough experience. Oh, three cross chops in a row. Of course, Onyx has really high defense. Maybe this might not work. Oh, it does work. Okay. There's a small chance it might not have been enough. Because Onyx... It's the only thing Onyx is good for is defense. Yeah, go ahead and take it around. You can go ahead and skulk in a corner. Whatever you want. Even more power. Yeah, there's that old bit about the badges increasing your stats. I think I looked it up. Uh, something like it increases it by maybe like ten percent or something. It's like a, some sort of invisible multiplier on this stat. I've never verified that, but um, yeah. So next time, I think we will be able to finish off the last two gyms. And then, uh, well, then it's going to be mad grinding time, and um, the end, finally. Well, uh, well, a year later, but... All right, well, thanks for uh, sticking with the tired rambling here. I'm trying to just keep myself awake, but two more gyms down, two more to go. Until next time.